The recent sale of the Swedish Saab JAS-39 Gripen EF fighter jets to Thailand represents a pivotal moment in the Royal Thai Air Force's modernization efforts, signaling a strategic shift in its defense procurement and regional positioning. Announced unofficially on July 10, 2024, and formalized by Air Chief Marshal Fanfakti Fatanakul on August 27, 2024, the decision to acquire 12-14 Gripen EF aircraft over the U.S.-made Lockheed Martin F-16 Block 72 aims to replace Thailand's aging fleet of F-16AB jets in service since 1988. This acquisition, integrated into the national budget for 2025 to 2029, builds on Thailand's existing fleet of 11 Gripen CD fighters, operational since 2011, and underscores a deepening defense partnership with Sweden. Beyond replacing 36-year-old aircraft, the move reflects Thailand's intent to enhance its air defense capabilities, diversify its supplier base, and leverage technology transfers to bolster its economy and military industrial capacity. As of March 2025, negotiations are in advanced stages, with the deal poised to reshape Thailand's air force and its standing among Southeast Asian peers. The procurement process for the Gripen EF was meticulous, spanning a 10-month evaluation by a Royal Thai Air Force committee that weighed the Swedish fighter against the F-16 Block 7072. The initial batch of four aircraft, three single-seat Gripen E models, and one two-seat Gripen F is budgeted at approximately 19 billion baht, equivalent to 539 million USD, with subsequent purchases planned through 2034 to replace 12 F-16s at 102 Squadron in Korat. Conducted on a government-to-government -government basis, the deal awaits final cabinet approval, but Saab's offer of offset packages, including technology transfers, training, and potential upgrades to Thailand's Eerie Airborne Early Warning Systems, tipped the scales. The Gripen EF's advanced features, such as the Raven ES-05AESA radar, infrared search and track, and compatibility with long-range weapons like the Meteor missile, outmatched the F-16's proposal, despite Thailand's long history with American jets. Defense Minister Sutin Klungsang and Prime Minister Shretha Thavison endorsed the choice, though the U.S. remains in the picture, with Sutin invited to Washington to discuss a potential F-16 deal, hampered by high loan interest rates. Saab's readiness to finalize the contract by March 2025 highlights the deal's momentum, driven by Thailand's need for cost-effective, cutting-edge technology within budget constraints. Delivery of the Gripen EF is slated to begin in 2028, contingent on approvals, with the Royal Thai Air Force planning a phased rollout, starting with the initial four aircraft. This timeline aligns with the retirement of Thailand's F-16AB fleet and leverages Saab's production capacity, already supporting deliveries to Sweden and Brazil. The aircraft will likely be based at Surat Thani's 7 Wing, home to the existing Gripen CDs, and possibly Korat, ensuring continuity in infrastructure and operations. The Gripen EF's role as a multi-role fighter, capable of air superiority, ground attacks, and reconnaissance, will enhance Thailand's integrated air defense system, integrating seamlessly with Eerie AEW platforms and the Link T tactical data link developed with Thai firm Avia Satcom. Powered by the General Electric F414 engine, it boasts a top speed of Mach 2, a 1,300 km range, and a 15,800 meter ceiling, carrying up to 5,300 kg of munitions across eight underwing pylons and two wingtip rails. This versatility positions it to defend Thailand's borders, maritime zones like the Andaman Sea, and strategic interests in a multi-dimensional warfare environment, meeting modern operational demands. Implementation of the Gripen EF builds on Thailand's decade-long experience with the Gripen CD, which has logged over 10,000 flying hours since 2011. The Royal Thai Air Force will utilize existing facilities and expertise at Surat Thani, with pilots transitioning from T-50 trainers to the EF variant, supported by Swedish training programs akin to those in 2010. The offset policy, a cornerstone of the deal, includes technological collaboration, such as data link enhancements, 
fostering local defense industry growth and interoperability with regional allies. Recent activities underscore the deal's progress. By January 2025, Thai officials touted the Gripen's suitability for local conditions, while Saab accelerated talks in October 2024, inviting Thai media to its facilities to showcase the aircraft's capabilities. The Royal Thai Air Force's current Gripens have also featured in regional exercises, signaling readiness for the EF's integration and reinforcing Thailand's role as a leading ASEAN air power. The impact of this deal reverberates across both nations. For Thailand, the Gripen EF modernizes its air force, replacing obsolete jets and strengthening deterrence amid regional tensions, such as maritime disputes and southern insurgencies. It reduces reliance on U.S. hardware, aligning with a hedging strategy between powers like the U.S. and China, while offsets stimulate economic and technological development, enhancing Thailand's defense industrial base. For Sweden, the sale bolsters Saab's export market, sustaining production lines and jobs after a decade of limited fighter sales beyond Brazil's 2014 order. It cements Sweden's foothold in Southeast Asia, potentially paving the way for deals with neighbors like the Philippines, and deepens diplomatic ties with Thailand, leveraging historical royal connections and Sweden's neutral stance. Economically and strategically, the partnership elevates both nations' profiles, Thailand as a regional military player, and Sweden as a trusted defense partner. Compared to competitors in Thailand's region, the Gripen EF holds distinct advantages. Malaysia's 18 Sukhoi Su-30 MKMs, while potent, lack the Gripen's advanced radar and electronic warfare suite, and Russia's export restrictions limit upgrades. Singapore's 40 F-15SGs and 60 F-60CDs offer superior range and payload, but come with higher costs and US-centric logistics, contrasting with the Gripen's cost-effectiveness and flexibility. Indonesia's mix of F-16s, Su-27s, and Su-30s suffers from maintenance challenges and a less cohesive fleet, while Vietnam's Su-30 MK2s lag in sensor technology. The Gripen EF's interoperability, lower life cycle costs, estimated at 10,000 USDs per flight hour versus the F-16's 20,000 plus USD, and Saab's willingness to tailor offsets give Thailand an edge in balancing capability and affordability, outpacing most ASEAN peers except Singapore's high-end fleet. Overall, the Gripen EF sale to Thailand is a strategic triumph, blending advanced technology with pragmatic economics. It positions Thailand to maintain air superiority in a volatile region while fostering industrial growth, and it revitalizes Sweden's aerospace ambitions in Asia. Against regional competitors, the Gripen EF offers a compelling mix of modernity, adaptability, and partnership value, ensuring Thailand's air force remains at the forefront of technology and relevance through the coming decades. As negotiations near completion in 2025, this deal not only fortifies bilateral ties, but also redefines Southeast Asia's aerial landscape. <laughs>